If you're planning on going on vacation with your pet or if you want to but you're in the dark about how to do it, this video is for you. Hello fellow travelers, my name is Lorena. This little lady over here is Emma and we're gonna share with you our tips and tricks that we learn traveling around Europe. This is what you need. You need to book your tickets and your pets. Your pet is gonna need a microchip. You're gonna need a health certificate or passport and you're gonna need a carrier bag or kennel. At the end of this video, I will give you three extra tips or how you make your pets travel more comfortable with you on your flight. Okay, so let's talk about each of these points. Book your tickets and reserve your pet space. Once you know where are you going and with what company, you need to call the airline and ask them if they have a space for your pet. Why you need to do this before buying your ticket is because the airline has a limited space about how many pets are allowed to travel in that specific flight. If you buy your tickets and then ask them if they have space, there are chances that they don't have enough space and you're not gonna be able to travel with them. Microchip. When you're traveling with your pet outside of the country, it's necessary to have a microchip. For this step, your pet is gonna guide you through it. In some countries, this step is something that they do when your pet is still a little pup, but in other countries, it's not something that they normally do. So you will have to take your pet before traveling health certificate and passport. This step is something that in most cases you have to do in the 10 days prior to traveling. Basically, it's a document that says that your pet is health enough to travel. In other cases, you may need a passport, depending on what country are you from. We are from Argentina, so the first time that we traveled to Europe, we only traveled with the health certificate. And once we decided to move here, we did her passport. You need to check that your pet's vaccines are up to date especially the rabies, since it's mandatory in most countries. If you have a little pup and it's gonna get its first vaccine, timing is crucial because it needs to be 21 days prior to the travel, otherwise it's not gonna be able to travel with you. Always check what vaccines are required in the country that you're going because this may change from country to country. Since we are from Argentina, we needed to take our health certificate and vaccine certificate to be approved and checked by the entity in charge of pet migration and health. We paid a fee and that document is the one that we have to present in the check-in before traveling. If you're from Argentina and you would like to know a little more about this process, let me know in the comments and I will do another video explaining a little bit better in Spanish everything. Carrier bag or kennel. When travel with your pet, you will need a safe way to transport your dog on the plane. Even if you go in the cabin or on hold, you will need a carrier bag or kennel. Small dogs till eight kilos are allowed to travel in cabins, while bigger dogs need to travel on hold. Every airline has different dimensions about these requirements, so don't forget to check in the airline websites about this. If you don't know what is the correct size for your pet, let me tell you that they need to be able to stand on the kennel and still have a little bit of space over their head, and they need to be able to turn around inside the kennel. Before I share with you the extra tips that I have, let me remind you that we upload videos every week. So if you don't want to miss any of the videos, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. So now let's dive into the extra tips. My first tip will be make your pet feel comfortable inside the carrier bag or kennel. Some pets don't mind, but there are some other pets that feel anxious when they're inside of them. So from the moment that you know that you're gonna travel with them and you get the carrier bag, try to make them feel comfortable inside of them. Maybe put a blanket that smells like you or smells like them inside, or even put some treats so they go inside the carrier bag by themselves. This takes time in some cases, so it's better if you do it with time. My second tip will be don't feed your dog before traveling because they may end up getting anxious and throwing up the food that you gave them. And by the moment of the arrival, it will be a disaster. <laughs> My last tip will be don't sedate your pet. Some airlines even prohibit this for safety reasons. This can be counterproductive because they don't breathe very well. And in some cases, they don't make it. So if you're worried about your pet getting too anxious and you want to give them something to relax, my recommendation would be talk with your pet. They will know better what to give them. And that will be all for this time. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. See you next time. Bye.